Well, a new satellite created by a team from McMaster University launched into orbit Tuesday on board a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. <clears throat> Named NUDOS, the satellite measures the impact that radiation has on humans while in outer space. And joining us now is Amy Ling. She was the former engineering manager for the project until her graduation from McMaster last year. So, Amy, first off, congratulations on your graduation. And this was a collaboration uh, between students and, you know, full-time researchers. Can you talk about that process? Sure. So... Uh, the NUDOS mission started in 2015 with one of our principal investigators, um, and since 2018 and being awarded the Canadian CubeSat grant from the CSA, um, we were able to fully develop and build a Cube satellite, um, which launched onto the uh, ISS, I believe it's docking actually in 20 minutes or so, which is really exciting. Um, but it's been a really cool experience to be able to work with people at the university as long, uh, along with people in industry. So why is it important to, you know, have a better understanding of the effects on radiation on astronauts? And, you know, that's such a small subset of, of the population, people who actually go to space. Yeah, well, upcoming space flights, uh, we hope to do a lot of longer deep space missions to really explore what's out there because there's a really large difference in the environment, but also the radiation dose makes a big difference um, for people back on Earth who are associated with health risks of long-term exposure to radiation, including cancer, cataracts, um, acute radiation sicknesses, um, and other conditions like that. So we're really getting information um, from out there to bring back to use on Earth as well. And how much have you like, learned overall from the studies? Oh, so much. <laughs> I mean, starting on a team like this uh, in my second year of university, um, I had no idea kind of what kind of careers were out there, what kind of missions you could do in the whole industry of space. It's not just exploration. There's so much research, uh, so much that goes into the learning and the building um, of the satellites themselves. And it's been such a huge learning experience to um, kind of see what everyone can do and how we can all contribute. Yeah, and you also mentioned, you know, the overall benefits from, you know, learning this information. What do you hope is going to be the biggest takeaway for, you know, just the general population? I think just getting a better understanding of what we can do and what we can learn from space exploration. Um, also getting programs out to uh, other post-secondary institutions, um, in high schools, elementary schools, just teaching um, students as they're learning about what the possibilities are out there and, um, you know, inspiring people to go into space research and um, kind of build that STEM relationship. Wonderful. Amazing work. Keep it up. Congratulations again on your recent graduation. Amy Ling, a former engineering manager for the project, until she graduated from McMaster last year. Thanks a lot.